What's up YouTube? Welcome back JDS Outdoors coming at you with another how to build DIY kit from Ice Hole Power. Here's another innovative design that they have come up with for ice fishing. This is called a Gens Pack and uh, there's been a few upgrades to it. What's great about this is you can use, uh, put a ram mount on here, you put your Vexlar, you can put your Hummingbird, you can put your Lowrance, depth finder, take that stuff out of your boat, put it on this, and you can use it all winter long for fishing. Now the features this has is it's got a swing out transducer arm, which is pretty slick. Come on to the back side, it's got an on off switch. For your power posts. Now what these do is allow you to run external power devices. You can even hook your uh, your uh, depth finder, your Vexlar, whichever you want, right to those as well. And also you can charge your battery just off these posts with a flip of a switch. This is your master switch. This turns on your other two features. One of which is the famous ice hole power glow cup and a whole light in the front or a flashlight whichever you want to use it for also comes with an awesome sticker if you turn off the master switch in the back all those shut off except for your power post those will still work stay tuned to the end of the video I'm going to tell you how you can win this exact box minus the battery Battery is not included. Ship to you free of charge. Just stay tuned to the end of the video to see how to do that. Now I'm going to show you an example how to build this awesome DIY kit from Ice Hole Power. All right, so we're going to start with this kit that was sent out uh, from Ice Hole Power. As you can see there, uh, it's not open yet, so let's open it up and see what comes in the kit. Set that aside. So it comes with the, the back battery cover plate. Looks like an awesome swing out arm for your transducer. As always, gotta have stickers. And inside the zip lock, we got five switches, a banana jack, cool little uh, LED light for the front, light up your hole, the glow cup and mounting hardware along with the plate for the glow cup, and an inline fuse holder. Set that stuff aside. We also got a brand spanking new Gens box. So next step is going to be to install all of our goodies from our ice hole power Gens pack kit. We're going to mount the glow cup right here with a switch. We're going to mount the LED light in the front where our old transducer holder is supposed to be, which is convenient because it's already got a hole in the front so we can feed our wires right through there. It's going to make aligning this up a lot easier. Install that there with a switch. Coming to the back side, we're going to open up our battery cover. Also includes hardware. It sits right on the back like that. We're going to install our battery posts or our uh, banana jacks rather and why these are nice um, you can use it for charging I'm going to wire it up so that way all you have to do is turn the switch on for this and it will charge your battery and you don't have to monkey around removing this and they're also nice for uh, backup power so you can run uh, LED light strips such as LED light strips like this with alligator clips on the end clip onto the positive and negative and then it'll have a master switch and the regular switch for turning on the banana jacks right there. All inside, protected, 
by an inline fuse. So tools you're gonna need, at a bare minimum, you're gonna need a set of wire strippers, an exacto knife, and a couple small 1 8 and 3 16 of an inch drill bits. To make your life a little bit easier, add a 3 quarter inch spade, an inch and 3 quarter hole saw, a drill, and for me personally, I'm going to use my assortment of uh, wire stripping tools and crimpers because I love the way that they work. You're also going to need, at a bare minimum, a little bit of uh, 16 gauge or 14 gauge, whichever gauge you have laying around, wire. So, next step, we're going to lay out the box. All right, now keep in mind this is one way you can wire this up and set this box up. Um, ultimately, it's up to you and how you want to set it up and how you want it to look. This is just an example that uh, copies what um, ISO Power has on their website. So, the wiring though, you can pick, wire it however you wish. So for this box, I would like to put the glow cup right over here. And that is for charging your glow jigs um, for ice fishing and regular fishing and whatnot. So we're going to set this where it fits nicely and put a dot right in the middle so we have a good spot where to uh, drill our hole. We need to add a switch for that so we're just going to kind of eyeball make sure there's nothing Underneath there, we're just going to eyeball a switch right there for that. Now we're going to move to the front, have our little LED light. I'm going to go ahead and take the screws off. Using a 3 16 inch drill bit. Drill that hole. Feed your wires through. Get your LED light in place. And just for the ease of marking the hole, since my Sharpie won't fit in there, we're going to use our drill bit. A smaller eighth inch drill bit. Just like that. Gives us a couple marks so we can go ahead and highlight it with the Sharpie so we don't forget to drill. Set the light aside. Now we're going to put a switch for the LED light on the front, making sure nothing's back there. Go ahead and put a dot there. So now we have all of our holes marked in the front. LED light switch, switch, and our glow cup. We're going to turn our attention to the back and where we're going to put stuff. So we're going to go ahead and put our banana post, banana jacks power posts, whichever you wish to call them, over here on the side. I'm pulling off this black plastic piece that will leave you the perfect template on where to put it. Now double checking, making sure you're not going to interfere with anything in the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and get that placed. We're going to center it up for aesthetics and using our drill bit. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right there and right there. Holes are marked. We're going to go ahead out our switch. So lay those out evenly spaced and then you can go ahead and use the center post as a guide to mark it. Alright now we got everything marked we can go ahead and drill. Now keep in mind you do not want to drill this while it's on top of the box. If you go too deep you'll hit your battery. So the front little ones 
are going to be your eighth inch holes. Almost forgot, we got to drill one eighth inch hole for our arm right up front here. So we're going to go ahead and do that as well. Next, we're going to jump up to our three quarter inch and drill our holes for our switches. Got one switch right here. And you want to go a little slow with that. If you plunge it in too fast, you will end up uh, ripping a hole. And you don't want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole right here. And there we go. Next step, I'm going to drill a hole for our glow cup. Inch and three quarter. Just like that. Now after you got all the holes drilled, you can go ahead and take your X-Acto knife and run along the edges here to get all those extra burrs cleaned up. Went ahead and repeated the same process, drilling the two three quarter inch holes, two three sixteenths inch holes that line up with the banana jacks off camera. That way I could have a better hold of this. Now that we have everything cleaned up, we can go ahead and start the fun part of assembly. We're going to leave the excess wires for now to aid in wiring it up later. We're going to start with the glow cup. Uh, helpful hint, bevel this edge just a little bit. That way it helps with sliding it in. Kind of a snug fit. You'll hear it click right there. Then we're going to add the top cap and go ahead and drill the holes for the four provided screws. And go ahead and install the provided screws. The nice thing about using the eighth inch drill bit to drill these holes is it helps to hold the screw. It actually starts threading. It's going to make installing your nuts and your washers just a little bit easier. So you can go ahead, since it's just sticking out the bottom ever so slightly, go ahead, stick your washer on, then stick your nut on, and you can use your finger. to hold it in place while you start threading. Once you get all the nuts started, go ahead and use a 5 16 inch wrench and snug them up the rest of the way. Now that we got those tight, we can go ahead and install our LED light on the front. Feeding the wires through our previously drilled hole. And go ahead and start the provided hardware in the previously drilled holes. Once you go ahead and get both nuts started, use your wrench to snug it up. We might as well go ahead and install our new transducer arm. We get the nut started on the back and we can get it snug. That way it still moves fairly easily.
just like that. Now with all of our accessories attached to the front, we're going to move our attention to the back plate, install our banana jacks. Go ahead and get those snug. There we go. Now we can start the task of wiring. We don't want to put all our switches in yet because uh, we need to, it'll make it easier to wire it up without the switches. Now keep in mind you can wire this up any way you want. This is just a guide, um, a suggestion on how it can be done. So first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to run our positives. Go ahead and attach spade connector to one end. Tug test proves good. You're going to want to pick up some different spade connectors. Your local hardware stores um, should have them. If you have time to wait, go ahead and order them on Amazon. That'll be your uh, cheapest route. So coming from our battery, the positive side, we're going to want to have the positive go to the switch that turns on the banana jacks and also have another positive come over to the master. So let's go ahead and cut a short length of red wire, strip the ends, and also strip the end on our fuse. Now we're going to tie this together using our spade connector and crimp it down. See? That's why I always do the tug test. These are Amazon connectors and sometimes you get one that doesn't, uh, a little cheaper than others, it doesn't work. That's why I always do the little tug test. So now that we got that crimped on, we can go ahead and run one over to our master. with another spade connector. So being that this is removable, we're going to go ahead and install our switch. If you look in the bottom of the switch, you have three different prongs. You've got a brass colored one, that's going to be your negative. Your middle one is going to be your power out that goes out to your accessory. Your top one is going to be your power in. So being that this is going to be the power in from the battery, we're going to go ahead and hook that up to the top post. Same goes for the master power in to the top post, opposite side of the brass. I'm going to go ahead and clip that right in place, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and shove this down in here just to check for clearance. Make sure everything clears the battery good, and it does. So the next thing we're going to want to do Remember I was mentioning that power out the middle. We're going to go ahead and make a jumper that goes from our top one over to the positive. So for that, we're going to need one spade bit and a ring terminal. Short length of wire. Strip both ends.
We're going to go ahead and connect. We're going to go ahead and connect our ring terminal to the positive on the banana jack. Should look something similar to that, depending on how you choose to wire it. Next step, we're going to have to go our power out on the master switch right here to the power in on our glow cup and our front LED. So to do that, we're going to need to make a length of wire that will go approximately to the switch then down to this switch. So that looks like it'll about do it. We need to make another one. I'll go down from that switch, down and around to this switch. Leave yourself a little extra, it never hurts. Now we're gonna go ahead and strip the ends and tie these two together. Using spade connector, go ahead and crimp that. Right on there like that. Now to make life a little easier, we're just gonna start over here, feed it through, back around behind the glow cup to the back of the box. We're going to take our shorter one stick it up here. There we go. Now we got the wire sticking out here and the wire sticking out there. That's going to go to the power out on our master. Moving back to this side, we'll go ahead and strip this end and this one. Then we'll add our spade connectors to the end. Now this is the wire for our glow cup. And these are the wires for our LED on the front. So we'll take the wires from the LED on the front and we'll go ahead and stick those through the hole in the front. Also stripping this back a little bit more. And adding our spade connector. Now we're going to strip our negative. But we have to tie our negatives together to go back to the box or back to the, the switch or the battery rather. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a jumper wire. A jumper wire that goes from this switch to this switch. And that looks about right. Once you get it stripped, we're going to put a spade connector on the end, but we have to tie it together with the negative of the light. We're going to go ahead and twist those two together and install spade connector, crimp it on. Just like that. And we'll feed that through so we can burn it up this hole over here. Now essentially the wiring is done for the LED light so we can go ahead and hook it up. Remember the brass is your negative. The middle is your power out, so we're tying the positive of the LED to the power out, and the upper is the power in. This is your power coming from your master switch. Now with all that wired up, we can go ahead and push our switch in the hole. Next, we're going to move over to our glow cup. We're going to feed all our excess wires and 
pull this back. A lot of excess, which is good. That way you can install it in a multitude of applications. I'm going to go ahead and trim the excess. And then strip the wires. Our positive, we're going to go ahead and install our spade connector. See, pull test, very important. Sometimes if you have too small of wire, you can go ahead and strip off a little excess and then twist it and fold it in half. Like that. And that'll give you a little bit more gripping strength on your spade connector should you happen to have an issue with it holding. So now we got positive in, positive out. And we're gonna find our negative wire right here and stick that through the hole. Now we need to have a negative that goes from here up to the battery. So, we're going to get a length of wire. And we're going to kind of eyeball it. Remember, little extra is better than not enough. I'm going to strip one end, feed it through the hole. We go around the back side the glow cup. And we're going to take all three of our negatives up here and twist them together. And secure using a spade connector. Now that we got these three set up, we can go ahead and install our switch. We have our single wire coming from the battery your positive in. We got our positive out going to the glow cup. That's your middle terminal. And you got your negatives on the brass terminal. And we can go ahead, clip that switch in place. Just like that. Don't worry, we'll clean these extra wires up when we're done. Alright, so now we have a negative and our positives coming from the front. Let's go ahead and do our negative for our switch. Our switch is back here and a power post. So we're going to start from one power post going to one battery, making a little jumper wire. Trim it, strip it, crimp a ring terminal to one side. And go ahead and attach that to the negative on your power post. Now we got to make a little jumper wire to go from this one over to this one. And go ahead and attach it to the negative terminal on your switch. And now we need to go from this one down to the battery. So we're going to make another shorter jumper wire. Leave this one with a little bit of length, gives us some room to maneuver. And we're going to take our cover on and off.
like that. Now we're going to take our negative from the front. We're going to go ahead and strip that and attach that to the negative up front here. Now all we got to do is attach our positive going to the front to the middle of our master switch. And now we got to install a fuse. None of these draw that much power. So I'm going to go ahead and install a 3 amp fuse. Into the holder. And now we just got to connect it to the battery. We got her. Now we can go ahead and set our battery cover in place. And then using the provided hardware, everything comes in the kit. And go ahead and screw that on. There we go. Battery tray is covered. So here we have the power pulse switch. So as soon as you turn this on, the power pulse come on. Now why this is cool is you can hook your charger directly to these posts and you never have to take this cover off to charge your battery. All you have to do is hook your charger up and turn your switch on. And that will work whether the master switch is on or off. Turn your master switch on, turn this around, and as soon as your master switch is on, you can turn on your glow cup in your light hole or flashlight whichever you decide to use it for but if your master switch is off neither of those are on pretty cool now why is this box so awesome well let me tell you because it's extremely universal not only can you take say an FLX28 Vexilar, take the head unit off, mount the RAM mount right to here, hook your gimbal bracket up, and then you can mount your head unit for your Vexilar on there. Or, a lot of guys have these hummingbirds. Now this is the Helix 7, so it's a little bit too big to fit on there. You could make it fit, but the Helix 5 seems to fit about the best. So not only can you take your unit out of your boat, and now you can use it all year round. You can use it up on the ice. And that is one of the reasons this kit from Isol Power is so awesome. All right, now I'm going to give this box away. Giveaway time. How do you win this box? Well, first thing you got to do is hit up Facebook. Go to Ice Hole Power on their Facebook page. Give them a like. Second thing you're going to do is you're going to uh, like this video and subscribe to JDS Outdoors. After you've done those three things, leave a comment down in the description saying done. Today's date is September 19th. I'm going to give this to October 31st. So you got till October 31st to go like ISO Power on Facebook, like and subscribe to this channel, and then leave the comment down in the description. Come October 31st, I am going to put all the names in a random generator and pick a name of a winner, and then I will contact you, and we will go from there. I will verify that you've done those three things um, prior to uh, sending the box out. Then if you win, I will ship this to you. It does not include the battery. Battery is a whole different uh, scenario for shipping. So that is how you win that. As always... Thanks for watching JDS Outdoors and check out Ice Hole Power for your very own DIY kit on how to build your blue pack and customize it. Thank you.